it's a safety issue and it's being ignored. Edward Wallace has been a factory worker at GE Appliance Park for eight years, making devices for refrigerators and dishwashers. He says he's never felt so scared. We might be putting the lives of our loved ones in danger. It's why he and others who work here are giving us an inside look at everything from restrooms and factory floors to empty dispensers of hand sanitizer. Wallace says conditions are dirty and dusty, with many workers separated by just a shower curtain. Put the plexiglass up for all the, the workers across from each other, right next to each other, not just sh shower curtains. He's been wondering whether he should just quit, asking himself. Are appliances really essential during this pandemic? Governor Andy Bashir says they are. A spokesperson with GE Appliances, a unit of China-based hire, says in a statement, the health of our employees is our priority. They say they've adjusted workspaces to achieve social distancing. Where that's not possible, they're using plastic dividers. Workers now must get their temperatures taken when they enter. And there's a more rigorous cleaning process. I am definitely not going to work with 4,000 people. But it's not enough to convince 27-year veteran Kimberly Owen to head back to work. March the 20th was the last day I worked, and it was absolutely terrifying. She tells me she saw her colleagues suffer. People around you are going home sick with fevers. At 60 years old, with a heart condition, she says working at GE Appliance Park is just not worth it. I will not go back. Factory workers I interviewed from home to abide by social distancing say they're forced to make a painful and difficult choice, weighing the value of their job versus their life. A spokesperson with GE Appliances tells me they're complying with state orders and CDC guidelines to protect their workers. For Focus, I'm Paula Vassan.